Often you'd like one animation to start when another animation ends. And to enable functionality like this, the AI to Canvas plugin implements a feature called Triggers. A trigger is really the combination of some event, like an animation ending, with an action, say starting up another animation. So to illustrate this, instead of having the asteroid automatically move along its path and scale when the document loads, let's make it wait until the moon makes its first iteration around the Earth. So to do that, let's first modify the path by adding a property that starts with the action we want to happen. So we want this path to start its animation, and the value is the name of the object, which animation, in this case rotation, and which event, which is the iterated event. In other words, when the moon does its first rotation iteration, we'd like this path to start. In a similar fashion, let's change the name of the asteroid to include a property called scale start, so start our scale animation when the moon rotate iterated events fires. Now I'm also going to select the asteroid path and the asteroid and move them kind of above the sun just so as it moves across the path it doesn't actually interfere with the other objects. So if I now choose File and Export I'll overwrite the file we've been using. Instead of the asteroid starting right away it should wait for the moon to make a single rotation around the earth and then the asteroid should begin its motion. And there we see the path began and the scale animation began and it moves off into the distance. So triggers allow you to associate an event with an action uh, so that you can have more of a cause and effect and some more complex animation behavior.